Now at 11, President Donald Trump makes his case for re-election right here in Cincinnati. The president just wrapped up a Keep America Great rally with Vice President Mike Pence. Thousands packed U.S. Bank Arena. President Donald Trump calling this a record crowd. He criticized Democrats right off the bat. No one has paid a higher price for the far left's destructive agenda than Americans living in our nation's inner cities, they have paid a dear price. You see what's happening? The president just tweeted about the rally saying, thank you, Cincinnati, Ohio. Together, we are going to keep America great. Not everyone is happy the president came to town. We did see protests outside the rally and some inside as well. One of them turned violent. <laughs> Uh, police say Dallas Frazier punched Michael Alter after getting out of that pickup truck. Alter was there to protest against the president. He told us pro-Trump protesters were on one side of Broadway and the anti-Trump protesters on the other. According to court documents, Frazier said, quote, you want some? And then halt hit Alter repeatedly. Alter was treated at the emergency room, we are told. Frazier is facing assault charges tonight. Police say this is the only incident like this that they are aware of. We do have live team coverage of the president's visit. We start with Kristen Swilly, who was inside U.S. Bank Arena for tonight's rally. Kristen. Yeah, good evening, Tanya. President Trump took direct aim at some of his Democratic rivals and touted a lot of his accomplishments while some of his supporters tangled with protesters. Thousands packed U.S. Bank Arena, another stop on the Trump-Pence re-election campaign. What we've done, no other administration in the first two and a half years in history has done. But not everyone was on board. There were two short-lived outbursts quickly quelled by the crowd and drowned out by the cheers of a base loudly declaring its support. It's been two and a half years of promises made and promises kept. More military funding, tougher borders, and a stronger economy were just some of the promises tonight. Our stride is back and our stand is clear. We are finally putting America first. And the president didn't hold back when it came to his rivals for the White House. While Republicans are working every day to build up our country, the rage-filled Democrat Party is trying to tear America apart. President Trump says his plans for bringing back factory jobs and lifting regulations on businesses will boost the economy and directly benefit Ohioans. We will keep America great. Thank you, Ohio. Thank you. Now, U.S. Bank Arena holds a little bit more than 17,000 people and nearly every seat was filled tonight. Reporting live at U.S. Bank Arena, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side. All right, Kristen, thank you. And our team spoke with President Trump's supporters as they left tonight's rally. Here's what they had to say. I liked every single thing he said and Pence as well. They were outstanding. I couldn't ask for that. I was so proud of him. His speech was awesome, and it makes me proud to be an American. I feel unbelievable. I feel like there's just so much love in the air, love for the country, love for just being American. Other supporters we spoke with cited the economy, relations with Israel, and his plans for health care as reasons they support the president.